What you're about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you're about to see are not real-life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real-life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. Hello and welcome to Fikila Explains with me, Fikila Mbalula, Minister of Sport and Raz Matai. <laughs> Today, we are going to learn about the noble and historically auspicious spot of fencing. For this, you need a sword. Oh, shit. The genuine and medieval art of fencing was invented by Valoras Knights and Lord. There are three kinds of swords. A foil, which is uh, super light and not at all dangerous. And a ipe, which you can use to hit people anywhere on the whole bodies, anywhere at all that you like. And a saber. Guess which one I have? Oh, sorry. Just look at the size of my saber. Now. All you have to do is hit the other person in the places you are allowed to hit them and not let them hit you on the places that they are allowed to hit you on and whatever you do, don't hit the floor. I'm just demonstrating the ineptitude of the mistaken ways of playing to spare you from the subjugation of misappropriate fencing behavior. You are welcome, my country. Ow! 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 Welcome. Welcome. Kamohelo. Salum Kela. Sonzela. Wamkele Kile. To another stage of the Puppet Nation. This week's Zelenzima Vavi, Battle Science. I checked my family tree and there are no monkeys in it. The Springboks get settled in England. I say, Bloxham. I did it. And Barack Obama is not Muslim. If I have to explain my religion one more time, I swear to God. All this and more. But first, this. As the long and convoluted U.S. presidential election process kicks up another gear, speculation has turned to potential vice presidents. Hillary Clinton says she hasn't ruled out choosing a familiar face to run with her. Look, it's true. It has crossed my mind, but... This is so awesome. I, I only said maybe, Bill. Maybe. If... You behave. I thought you went on to say it would be unconstitutional for the... Let me stop you there a minute. Bill, can you wait outside for a moment? We need to have a private talk. Vice President Bill? Okay. Of course it's unconstitutional. And I wouldn't do it anyway. Good Lord, he'd drive me nuts. And think of all the intern monitoring I'd have to do. But then see how well he's behaving. If I can keep this up for another month or two, he might finally fix that shelf and clean out the shed. Scientists have done some serious research into a vital area. According to the University of California, size doesn't matter. That's right, Debra. As a voice expert, I'm here to tell you that the preferred size is 16.3 centimeters with a 12.7 centimeter circumference. I'm trying to visualize. Mm. Never mind. The research also found that in long-term partners, women were happy with their slightly smaller size. It doesn't hold its juice for very long. Could you please stop waving that force around all willy-nilly? This is part of my new range of wars. I call it Ideal Boer Wars. Every piece is exactly the right size. Mm. Mm. Perfect. You want a bite, Justice? I'm good, I'm I'm good. No, really. Take a bite. And Kim Kardashian West... And I'm beginning to think the word news means nothing these days. ...has launched a new app and a new website. That's right, Justice. If you subscribe, you can get my fab makeup tips. Uh, I think I'm good, thanks. Then, Deborah, you can... Don't even try. No, no, Justice. I'm totally and utterly thrilled. 
makeup tips. Just imagine. You can also download all my sister's apps and subscribe to their websites. We have different colors. How gloriously lucky we are to live in this remarkable era. I know, right? I only wish I could be like you. You want to be like Debra? Totally. Then I could experience what it's like for a mere mortal to witness my greatness. Feels like nothing on earth. The discovery of a new human ancestor in the cradle of humankind has got the scientific community excited and former Kusato Secretary General pissed off. Zelensky Mavavi took to Twitter in an angry tirade claiming that he is not descended from any type of baboon or ape, throwing all of Darwin's work out of the window. Perhaps the world is flat and Mr. Vavi didn't send us the memo. I don't need a memo to prove I am no ape. God made me, and that's all there is to it. Uh, you do know how evolution works, right? Uh, that we change gradually over time? I'm all for change. Change is good. Once I was with Kosatu, now I am not. As a species, not as individuals, we evolve over time. And as a society, we need to evolve to treat our workers better. We, all of us, as human beings, we all evolve from Homo naledi. Not me. <laughs> yes, even you. Nope. I checked my family tree and there are no monkeys in it. Well, there's only one logical explanation then. There's a logical explanation for this? Clearly, Comrade Vavi is from another planet. The city of Cape Town has enlisted the help of private security to broaden its CCTV coverage of the city. Private cameras are now helping police investigations and crime preventions by SAPS and the Metro Police. Aren't we great, Debra? Once again, the city of Cape Town is breaking new ground in assuring the safety of its citizens and bringing criminals to justice. Please, don't do it. We in Cape Town help stop crime and we help those who help themselves. Who would that be? You know, those who pay the highest rates in taxes. For example, Hout Bay, the CBD, and the southern suburbs, all the way to Constanza. Right. And Camps Bay and Clifton, everywhere with a C. Claremont too. So are there any in the problem areas of Cape Town, like the Cape Flats, with a C? Hmm? Or in gang violence hotspots? Hmm? Are you mad? They must break them there. I thought she was stopping crime. Oh, of course, yes, but not for those people. They steal. You know, there'd be no cameras after day one. Crime solving in areas where there's no crime. Do you have a private security camera? Then we can watch you too. We're on TV. Perfect. Then we can absolutely tell you if you're being robbed. You're welcome. Just one week after ESCOM announced that South Africa would not have load shedding until April 2016, they've announced that we will in fact be having massive load shedding this week. I knew it was too good to be true and I believe them anyway. I feel cheated and lied to. So you feel just like every other South African citizen on every other day. No, Deborah, don't go getting carried away with your negative assumptions and media lie spreading. This damn thing is not our bloody fault. Oh, Minister of Energy Tina Jumet Peterson, good evening. It's not a bloody good evening, Justice. It's bloody terrible. Just when we get this power thing right, just when we solve the whole damn problem, this bloody foreign electricity lets us all down. So who is ESCOM blaming this time? It's the bloody Mozambican fancy schmancy hydro plant that's gone and broken. Who told them to use bloody water for bloody electricity anyway? South Africa has had more than 10 hydroelectric power plants in the last 30 years. I'm not talking about history here, Justice. I'm talking about foreign people causing trouble for South Africa, as usual. This sounds a little xenophobic. There you go, the media lies again. Is there a plan to keep the lights on? Of course. Stop bloody sitting inside and go bright, man. It's summer. Sit down with your stoop, take a little vodka out of the freezer and pour yourself a little meltdown. Two parts vodka to one part bribery and corruption. There 
they're shitty, they're pointless, and now they've invaded South Africa. Collect all 24 and they will come to life and destroy your world. You get one free with every 150 Rand you spend, but you want more and more and more. I don't even like sardines. In fact, I'm allergic to fish. Let the fun begin. Shitties, they'll make you pay. So, Debra, you haven't commented. I've done nothing but comment. That's my job. No, no, you haven't commented on me. You fairly okay at your job? No, my summer body. Oh, nice. You think I'm fairly okay? Wow! Forget it. No, 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 that's probably the, the nicest thing that you've ever said to me. Ever. Springbok fever has gripped the nation as the 2015 Rugby World Cup kicks off this week. Am I supposed to be excited about that? We suck. But it's the biggest rugby tournament in the world! The passion, the drama, the tries, the scrums, the... Oh, never mind. The team that is not going to win the World Cup this year, also known as the Springboks, have spent this week acclimatizing in England. Immersing themselves in the culture and the climate and... Like standing in the rain is going to help. Welcome to England, Victor. And how's it? I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be playing rugby here. Uh, my wife says we, we're probably staying here even after the World Cup. Did you tell him about the tea? I was just getting to that, sir. Carry on. I'm talking to the All Blacks. Seems they might win this thing. Huzzah! Survival in England is relatively easy, old chap. First, one must know the proper way to drink tea. My wife likes it when I drink tea. Firm grip with the thumb and forefingers, pinky firmly out. Okay. Oh, oh fuck, come on. I can do this. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't practice this move. It's absolutely vital if you want to be taken seriously. Fuck one. <laughs> Shit. I say, bloxum. I did it. Excellent. Secondly, here we queue politely and quietly, one behind the other, standing in line for hours on end without complaint. Uh, okay. But then, who throws the ball into this line out? And who catches Nobody it? Nobody throws the ball, you idiot. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's important to be polite and apologize at every opportunity. Sorry? Yes, just like that. It's also important to drink your beer at room temperature. Great. My wife loves new restaurants and, and I love beer. Where can I find this room temperature place? It's not a f***ing place. Don't you like me? Mr. Cameron, don't you want to swap? Please! And still with the box, Coach Heineke Meyer believes that despite all the evidence to the contrary, the box are ready for the competition. Don't look at me. I couldn't care less. Uh, yeah, look, uh, we, we're definitely ready for the World Cup. Uh, totally ready. Uh, we have nice uniforms uh, which are clean and pressed all with the, the right numbers and names on the back for each player. So are you positive about the Springboks' chances? I believe. I, I believe we have a chance to uh, play. I, I mean, we met our quota, so anything can happen, really. Oh, f oh, well, what, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, you know, Divi just came for moral support, uh, you know? Divi loves the spring box. That's why Divi coached them so well. And are you also confident about the team's chances? Oh, okay, hell no, Justice. They don't stand a f chance. They haven't won a game in how long? And have you seen the other teams? Those All Blacks are gonna put us stuck Shut up, shut up. We're, we're not even playing the All Blacks. Yeah, well, that's even worse, my friend. We're gonna be crushed by sissy teams like Samoa and Fiji and Japan and the Americans. The Americans, they can't even play rugby and they're going to put us, my friend. It's 
It's no, disgraceful! No, it's no, disgraceful! No, but wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Where are you going? I, I haven't I haven't told you how prepared our, our locker room's uh, chance are. No, I'm sorry, Amy. It's too scary for Davy. Davy can't watch. Yeah, but yeah, you know, tell me what, what have we got for the locker room? Uh, we've uh, got, a, uh, got a good chant. Uh, our, our one is maybe, maybe we can win if we are lucky. Wake me when it's over. This interview? Ooh, the whole damn cup. Sunday saw the beatification of human rights activist Chimangad Sodaswa by the Catholic Church in Toayando in Venda. This is the first time that anyone in South Africa has received this honor from the Catholic Church. No one was more excited than President Jacob Zuma about the event. This is wonderful. <laughs> it's a true honor for our country, the people of Venda and of Daswa. Tohoyando will never be the same again. How do you feel beatification will change Tohoyando? Well, beautification is always nice, isn't it? You start out ugly and plain and unattractive, and the church turns you into a beauty. It's wonderful. <laughs> and it will save us a fortune in fixing Venda. Mr. President, beatification is when you are named blessed and a martyr by the Catholic Church. Of course it is. <laughs> I knew that. I myself was beautified once. Oh, yes. You're a great god. I, I mean, a saint. Of course. I'm the first and most uh, <laughs> holy of South Africans. But it is nice that Daswa will be getting something too. Africa is big enough for more than one saint. I always thought that you were more sinner than saint. <laughs> Don't be silly, Justice. I have proof. I have a document from the church that says I'm not a sinner, but a saint. It's almost as good as science. And I have a document from the public protector that says that you've been taking money for oh a dear. very long time. So sorry. I must go immediately and um, uh, please tell her. <laughs> no, never mind. The DA launched their election campaign in Nelson Mandela Bay this week. The DA are hopeful that they can take the majority rule of the municipality from the ANC in next year's provincial election. Oh, no, no, no. Correction, Justice. We are not hopeful. We believe that we will win the Nelson Mandela municipality. The ANC has held on to that area for years. What makes you think that you can wrestle it away from them? Faith and a foolproof election campaign. This I need to hear. We will give the people what they want. Free services? Free housing? Even better! Free t-shirts! That can't be right. What's foolproof about that? It worked for the ANC. I believe it will work even better for the DA. What happened to change and being better than your opposition? We have plenty of that too, Deborah. Unlike the ANC's Kwaito stars in the campaign, we will believe in the djembe drum. The true African spirit. An interactive drumming circle where the people can participate like they will participate in our government. The Kwaito stars may have been a better idea. I believe you are wrong. Note to self, learn how to play Kwaito on the djembe. Wait, that's it? Yes! Isn't it a great plan? Uh, no. But DA can win! T-shirts, djembes, believe it! Please believe it! Please! No. Please! Sorry, I'm not sold. Would it help if I quoted MLK? Note to self, win Deborah over. Uh, Justice, you know you wanted me to comment on your physical appearance? Yes. You have something on your head. Mm, I know, it's a milli. Okay, why? It's the latest trend from China. I can't help being this stylish. I'm going to do you a favor and go to Rian with the old news so you can sort that thing out. It's just unprofessional. Hello, Debra. Oh, good grief. You know, it's been 30 years since a momentous unbanning. Let me take you back. Good evening, Goeienaand. Today, after extreme pressure, President P.W. Buta has announced an unbanning. This came as quite a shock, but a great relief to many. Goeienaand, Rian.
It is my duty to make the best decisions for the people of South Africa. Yes, that's the job description. So, although Stevie Wonder has very, very dubious political leanings, Werklich, we acknowledge that for many, his music helps to get them in the mood. So, we are officially unbanning Mr. Wonder's music. I myself am partial to Lady in Red. One cannot deny, Rian, that there is a certain erotic quality to his work that some Afrikaners are in need of in the boudoir. And to those detractors who say that ebony and ivory is clearly a traitorous sentiment? I agree. But I trust the good Christian people of this land to be able to look beyond. Oh, oh, good. Remember, the security and happiness of this country lies in the happiness of the Afrikaner. And Afrikaners do like to pump. Yes. And in international news, British Prime Minister David Cameron welcomed the new Labour Party opposition leader, Jeremy Corbyn. That is if your definition of welcome includes hurling insults and trying to cause a national panic. Well, he's a complete asshole, isn't he? Um, sir, perhaps if we use less colourful language? I wasn't even being colourful yet. He's a complete and utter f**kwit. Raising taxes? Is he retarded? Abolish the army? Bullocks! What a shite wipe! Sir, we're definitely going to have to use far less colourful language and abusive language and possibly legally actionable language. But why? When someone acts like a cunt and talks like a cunt and even walks like a cunt, then should we all not be free to call him a cunt then? Yes. Just not on the telly, sir. That kind of language we reserve for when Parliament is in session. And, of course, in private. Well, perhaps if he was less of a cunt, but he's not! But what about the voters, sir? Some of your voters are a little on the, how shall we say, conservative side. F*** the voters! And don't say the C word. I'm the Prime Minister and I can say whatever I want. Right then, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. I'll be needing the beeping machine. What kind of hairbrain fucking dog mouth bitch fucked fucking cunt my ass licking shit of a shit stain? I mean the no that fucking 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 ass hairy shit wipe This week on Shit Trump Says. This week's shit with Donald Trump. Donald Trump spoke out against the high salaries of CEOs, saying that it was a joke that anyone got paid that much. He can look in the mirror with a straight face but thinks this is a joke? The average CEO gets paid 350 times more than the average worker. That's right, Black News Guy. 350 times more. That's crazy. That's madness. That's some bullshit. What do you feel the margin should be? I don't know about math right now, bleeding woman. Don't ask me about math. What I know is that it's too much. My CEOs don't get paid like this. I pay them shit and they know it. But aren't your companies really rich? Hell yeah. Yeah, black guy, and they stay rich by not giving all the money to the damn CEO. What does that guy do anyway? Sit around playing golf, that's what. You have an objection to golf? There's nothing wrong with golf, woman, but not on my dime. Those guys are lucky I pay them at all. Maybe I should get some Mexicans. No one has to pay them. You are going to hire Mexicans? Hell no. Aren't you listening, woman? How much did you get paid to run your companies? We're not talking me, woman. We're talking slave labor Mexicans. Can't you keep up with a simple topic? And that's all we can stomach of Trump for one week. American polls revealed two things this week. One, that Americans aren't that smart. And two, that 29% of Americans still believe, despite seven years of him saying he isn't, that Obama is Muslim. Oh, what does that guy have to do? Be born again in white skin? I think that might do it, although he might have to change his name as well. And I really like Barack. You know, it just rolls off the tongue. Barack. In other US news, Pope Francis will be paying his first papal visit to the United States this month. Mm, it even tastes nice. Barack. Mm. 
सोमर रोप हाथ सनस्क्रीन वॉर्म जैकेट फॉर द इवनिंग्स टूथपेस्ट चेस दैट्स व्हाट आई फॉरगॉट योर ग्रेस वी हैव बराक ऑन द लाइन ओह बराक आई वाज जस्ट फोन इन फॉर टू थिंग्स firstly how's the weather and uh, will i need a jersey uh, hey your holiness definitely pack a sweater and don't wear white it's after labor day ha 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 and uh, the other thing i wanted to check um well i didn't ever read the quran and i was wondering if i would need to what, what do you mean I suppose I could pack one and uh, read it on the plane. I heard that's a fun thing to do. Are you asking if I'm Muslim? Oh, uh, I was uh, on the line on the computer and I read somewhere. You know, I, I, I just wanted to be sure. You know, just in case. Damn it, Pope! If I have to explain my religion one more time, I swear to God. Oh, stop! You swear to God, you must be a Christian. I swear at him all the time. I'll keep packing then, and uh, see you soon, Barack. I can't wait. Allah who freaking Akbar. Jesus, where is the f- toothpaste? So there you have it folks. Zuma is a saint and Barak isn't a Muslim. Justice. I thought we spoke about your ornamentation. But the news is over now. I can be fabulous in my own time. It's not over yet. This has been the 98th state of the puppet nation. Goodbye. Ah, that's my line. Too late. That's it. Going to Muryomili. Ah!